Today is April the 10th. Thursday, I think. Or is it Friday? Friday, April the 10th or 11th, something like that. Today we are fishing a cypress swamp. Very shallow, muddy lake. But these waters warm up first because they're dingy and shallow. And it's full of cypress trees. And we're trying to get on some crappie. We're experimenting. We're trying a brand new place we've never been. And we figured, well, if it's no good, we'll never come back. So we'll know if it's any good or not after today. I think we just got to find the right tree later. We got to get near the cover. Okay, shh. There's a big crappie below me. He's a keeper too. He was keeper sized. I'm not kidding you. I seen him. Got it. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Nice white crappie. Hey, you see why I anchored here, don't you? Look at all the trees. You just gotta cast it right by the tree. Hey, he's actually a keeper too, guys. First fish of the day. No. Look, hon, it's not bad. He's about seven inches. It's decent for us compared to how we've been doing. So we just found a new promising place. You just, we just had to find them. We've been having really bad luck on locating them. Um, you just gotta find. In muddy water, guys, the fish always relate to cover. It makes them feel more secure. And this water's only 36 inches deep, but they're right there. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, he's getting dark, not completely, but. All right guys, crappie number two. They got snail larva on them in here too because it's so shallow. But the snail larva attach themselves to these fish. You can still eat them like that, but it's not, I mean, I wouldn't. They're not terrible size. So far the average is seven. All right guys, hey, ain't gonna complain. I was starting to think this place was a waste of time. It just took us two hours to find them. You gotta find those tree laydowns. I need another minnow, I'm sorry. Once you get going, you'll be good to go though. Okay. Guys, I just caught a 10 inch crappie. We finally got a black out of here. I changed my battery and forgot to turn it on so you guys got to miss the fight. But uh, So we got both black and white crappie. And uh, not bad size in here. The average is pretty good. We got so far two sevens, a four, and now we got a nine or 10 inch right here. I'm definitely coming back to this place. I already got my mind made up. I like it. We're learning where they sit. The first time is always not as good as when you repeatedly come back, but we're figuring it out. We know where they're set now, so hey, pretty cool. Look, honey, look how nice this one is. Not bad, is it? Look, that's decent. Okay, I need a minnow again. That's really nice. That's not a bad size at all. I'll take him all day. Way better than the ones we've been getting at the swamp. Or the borrow pit, I mean. This place ain't bad. There you go. Oh, 
There you go. Oh, it's a nice bluegill. That ain't bad at all. It's a keeper. <laughs> oh my goodness. That ain't a bad size. That's like Neelyville ones. A little smaller. But a little smaller than the ones at Neelyville is what I said. I said it's like the ones at Neelyville, but a little smaller. It's about the same as the ones in Neelyville. Eating size. It's big enough to eat. Hold on, hold on. A different minnow? Oh, uh, that was the one he stole from you. I right, hold him up for us, honey. All right, Wilma got a nice little male bluegill on a bobber and minnow. Not bad. Good job. <laughs> Ain't bad. This lake has a lot of, it's like crappie's the main species in here, it's looking like. I don't know what you're doing wrong. You caught a balloon. It's almost all white crappie in here, I got the one black. Tyler, I appreciate the info. I knew you wouldn't send me to a dead place. It took us two hours to start getting on them, but once we did, we was getting on them left and right. Oh, yeah. Oh! All right, guys, another big black. Yes. All right. Hey, good combination here. They're not giants, but they're keepers, and they're nice keepers. They're big and thick. Big, thick crappies in here, guys. I'm really happy I've listened to my friend to come here. Oh. Not bad at all. Look at that nice little black. I'll take him all day. About nine, eight or nine, eight. These fish are spawning later than every other place we've been fishing. This one's just barely starting to get dark cheeks. And it's because a lot of it is because the weather changed. It was uh, 83 degrees a few days ago, guys. And now there's not going to be any days that you even get in the 70s until April 22nd. So that's 12 days away. 12 days of uh, 60s and 50s. Uh, so these fish that were probably getting ready to spawn probably backed off. I guess give me another minnow. Where you want to fish? My goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold him up for us. My, for some reason my camera shut off, guys. When she reeled this thing in, I, once again I missed the battle because I didn't hear my camera shut off. That is a hoss. Hold him up sideways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wilma finally got her biggest, she got her personal best crappie. She just got her personal best crappie six days ago and now she beat it it's a big old white hold it down a little bit mm -hmm. that's a big old crappie right there oh. just like that just hold that pose oh my gosh Whoa, I cannot believe it. wow I today. guys she keeps beating me i catch about <laughs> 10 times as many fish as her every time we go fishing the last week like i'll catch 20 fish and she'll catch two but her two beats me. She, it's like she gets the giant. Whoa. It's just a, a weird hex I've had lately. That is a big crappie. Can you give me my picture? I got, I got yeah. Let me hold it up close to the camera too so they can get a 
All right, guys, 15 inch white crappie. He's about two pounds. That is a hoss. Wow. Good God. I wish I would have brought my phone too. You'll have to send me the picture okay. to my Wow. Look at that, guys. Two pounder. I'll tell you what, get zoom zoom of me holding it too. Tyler is still in the throat. Yep. Sure was. And he don't even come here much. He did when he was young. Okay. My minnow's probably dead. He'll be all right. That it was that thick on the top. I know. God, I, that's a shame. I missed the fight there, guys. My stupid camera shut off, and I had no idea it was shut off. Sometimes when my camera shuts down, you can't hear it. My goodness. <laughs> 